Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor. And I'm, um, again, here talking about, I mean, you know, the biggest things that people talk about is if you put if you put something out about you believe in God and you think atheists don't know what they're talking about, it, it catches, oh, so many atheists are so verbal and angry. I think... You have to be, to be an atheist, I think you have to be a negative person. It's like one of those half empty, cup half empty people. They, they just don't see the positive. They just don't see the possibilities. And um, not that they're dumb, they're super bright. It seems like the more bright they are, the more likely they are to be an atheist. And I think it's like if I told them I was an atheist, oh, they'd think I was smart. But since I tell them I believe in God, and automatically I assume I'm a Christian, uh, I believe in God that I'm stupid. <laughs> so, I, I, maybe, I, I mean, I'm fully with that, that I could be stupid. <laughs> I'm not questioning that. But I am, uh, I am, uh, I do take offense over the fact that they think that they're smarter than everybody else um, just because they doubt. I mean, so what? You don't think anybody who's... They don't think people have lived. They think it's like I, I was born like a Christian and like I brainwashed when I was little and I'm too stupid to think for myself. Well, cripe. If I was too stupid to think for myself, I sure wouldn't be a chiropractor. Because, uh, I mean, it's all about thinking for yourself and doing something a little different from everybody else. And, and the thing is, most of these people are very arcane about everything else they do. They just do the same thing that they were taught. And they act like they're scientists. I mean, shoot. I seriously doubt they know what science really is. To come up with a hypothesis and to critically look at it. To really critically look at a hypothesis and then come up with data that does not support your hypothesis because you want it to, that comes up with data that supports your hypothesis because it's proven. I believe I have that in chiropractic. I believe I have that in my life. And it's hard to always think about things. In fact, it'll make you wild at times. Maybe go crazy. Maybe that's why people kill themselves. Because they come up with a, a hypothesis that can't be proven. Or when they come to the end, they realize that their hypothesis was all wrong. And their whole life was based upon this. I don't know. I don't know what makes people crazy and makes them do crazy things. But I know myself. And... If I don't get what I want, I'll get a little mad about it. But then I deal with it. I mean, so you don't get what you want in life. I mean, if I had what I wanted, I'd have about a hundred million bucks right now. <laughs> and I'd have a few other things too. I mean, almost everything would be the same. But I wouldn't mind the hundred million bucks. It'd be like the Sage of Omaha. And um, but anyway, just just getting back to the point that atheists are negative, and. And, and I, not doubting that they're very smart and probably smarter than me on the average and uh, maybe not but what's smart you know, high IQ big deal you know it's like some guy came up with a test and you do good on it you're high IQ you do bad on it you're stupid meanwhile who knows but um, anyway it's Dr. Joe I just wanted to like put that out there that all these atheists love to comment on my comments and uh, good for them. But anyway, have a great day.